Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting a new project. This is really simple, uh, great for beginner uh, woodworkers. I'm going to be making a welcome sign uh, for the front porch. Now all this requires is a couple of five and a half inch red cedar pickets and uh, everything will be made from those two pickets. As you can see, I've already cut and sanded uh, two of them here. And what you do is you basically take the pickets and you're gonna saw the dog ear off the top. And then you're gonna measure out to 54 inches in height. So these are 54 inches. And the scrap pieces are what you're gonna use on the back to, uh, I'm gonna glue and, and nail these that keeps this together. Once these are together, I'm going to do a quick stain job on them. I have stencils, I'm gonna lay the stencils out and I'll show you that when we get to that part. Um, and, and then we'll go step by step after that. Anyway, it's a, it's a pretty cheap project. You know, you're probably looking at, um, you know, under $20 to make a welcome sign and they're a really neat thing to have on your front porch. My wife really likes it. And since she likes it, I'm gonna make one for her. Now, one of the things I, I want to remind you, please make sure you watch this video in the entirety, because if you don't, you're going to miss out on what it looks like at the end. Anyway, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Hit the like button. It really helps me uh, get my video out um, to with YouTube and, and so that they share it with more people. Okay, so where we at, we're at now is I've cut, made the cuts on the boards and I've sanded them. You don't have to sand them if you don't want to. I like them sanded. So I have an orbital sander. I just ran a, a quick um, sand on both sides there because I just like how it looks when it's finished if it's sanded. Uh, once you've done that, you take one of your, your end pieces here, just like I've done on this end, and I've put a little glue and some, some uh, brad nailer, nailed it to this end to keep this together. I'm using these brackets just to hold the, this together because uh, anytime you get fence pickets, they can't, you can't have a little bit of a warp to it. And so you, when you're picking them out, you, that's one of the things you want to make sure that you do is that you set them up against each other and, and try to get the, a pair that matches up as close as possible. Uh, because if there's any gap in there, it doesn't hurt for there to be a little gap, but I prefer it to be really flush. So once I do that, I, I find the best pair and I get it cut and sanded. I'll put a, um, a, <coughs> a clamp on them here that just kind of pulls them and holds them together nice and flat until I place my block that ties them together. Now what I've done is I've measured three and a half inches from the bottom up. There's no exact placement of this. You can, it can you, if you want it six inches, you can. I just uh, have found that uh, three and a half inches just seems to be the, the right spot for them. So what I do is once I, I have it here, just take a little wood glue and uh, put some wood glue here. And this just helps hold it. Now, you know, like I said, I am gonna nail it with my brad nailer. I've marked the three and a half inches here and I'll just kind of square it up, line it up on the line so that it's all nice and neat. Now, nobody even actually sees this part because this is the back side of uh, the welcome sign, but you know, you want it to be neat, so you might as well do the whole job the correct way. And once you get it like this, take your brad nailer and hold it in place, boom. And that's all you need. Now, what I did is I'll probably put a few more in there just to make sure I got a good hold. Once I get this done, I'll take the bracket off itself and uh, then I'm going to uh, use some stain and I'm going to stain it. You can use whatever color stain you like. Uh, but what I found is like the darker stains do better uh, once you're painting uh, the stencils on. Of course, I'm going to paint the stencils on with white paint because I like that, that look. Um, and so if you have a darker background, it just looks better. Uh, so I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to start the staining and I'll show you what it looks like after I have it stained. Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick. I've just started to stain this, and this is, um, I'm staining the backside first. This is kind of what it looks like, if you wanted to see. And 
I wanted to show you that I use Verathane American Walnut. So if you like this color, that's the color and brand of stain that I use to do this job with. Okay, so I've got my stencils out. I finished staining uh, the board. Um, like I said, I got the stencils laid out. I used some painter's tape and a straight edge to make sure that you see everything straight. I wanted to show you this. This is, um, a lot of people use a stencil brush. I prefer using the little foam piece. I think it does a better job when you're doing stencils so that you have less bleed over on it and you can control the paint better. Uh, uh, you can see what it looks like here. And down at the bottom, it says to our home. So welcome to our home. That's what it looks like. And the next step is to actually paint uh, the letters. And that's what I'm fixing to do next. And when I get through, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, welcome back to the channel. You know, like I said, if you watch this video to the end, this is the end and there is the finished product. So if you're looking for a welcome sign, you wanna do your own, watch this video, it'll tell you how to do it. And this is what you can end up with. Now on the stains, you can use any kind of stain you want. I showed you the kind of stain I use for this project. I've seen some where they've used a little darker stain and or a lighter stain and instead of using white for the letters, they use black. You know, you can make your letters whatever color you prefer, but that's how you do it. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do at the end of this video is let everybody know. Uh, I want to give everybody a big thank you for um, helping me reach 500 plus subscribers, which I've just done in the last week. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. And probably one of the most important things is make sure you give it a like. It really helps me with YouTube. It helps YouTube know that you like the video and to push it out to more people so they can see the same thing you just got finished watching. Until next time, stay safe.